Are you tired of this happening while taming Procoptodon? My name's Stuckworth, and today I'll show you how to tame a Procoptodon, and if you stick around, I'll tell you a couple neat things about tamed Procoptodons. First off, let's prepare. The food you're going to need in order from most effective to least effective. Rare mushrooms, plant species X seeds. I'd recommend using rare mushrooms since they're easier to find in higher quantities. You'll need around 80 narcotics per hour during the tame. At a default taming rate, a level 30 can take between 20 and 30 minutes. A level 60 can take between 30 and 45 minutes. A level 120 can take between an hour and an hour and 15 minutes. And a level 150 can take between an hour and 15 minutes and an hour and a half. These times are the difference between rare mushrooms and plant species X seeds. You can find rare mushrooms in beaver dens, while chopping down mangrove trees in the swamp, or while mining crystals. You can find plant species X seeds in carnivore plants that are found in the wild, very rarely in swamps from a cattail-like plant, or in red bushes on the top of mountains. I need to put an asterisk here in regards to the red bushes on top of the mountains. I gathered a countless amount of them for an hour and couldn't find a plant species X seed from them. I don't know if the drop rate was nerfed or removed, but I'm going to mention it just in case it's still there. There are a couple of kind of big problems with the Procoptodon. The biggest being how rarely they spawn and how sparse their spawn locations are. This leads to only a couple being spawned on the entirety of the map. The other problem is that Procoptodon run away from survivors once they're damaged. This makes them particularly hard to tame because they can only be immobilized by chain bolas or large bear traps, both of which are hard to set up for an opponent that's quick to run away. The least you can do is find a mount that can keep up with a Procoptodon and you can use weapons while mounted, such as a Gallimimus, a speed upgraded Raptor, or a speed upgraded Equus. As long as you can keep up and hit the Procoptodon with Trank Ammo, it should work. If you want to try to trap one, you'll need to use rare flowers. There's really no way around this. In all cases, you'll need to clear the area of unwanted creatures before you eat a rare flower. The first trap I'm going to show you is a standard billboard trap. You'll need four wooden billboards and a large bear trap and a rare flower. Place three billboards in a square shape with the side missing and a bear trap in the middle. Eat the rare flower and lure the Procoptodon into the bear trap. Place the missing billboard before knocking your Procoptodon out. The next trap is going to be a, a box trap. You'll want to have four stone foundations, ten stone door frames, and four stone stairs. Build a two by two with a ramp up one side and a backboard on the other. Eat the rare flower and lure the Procoptodon into the trap. It should hit the backboard and fall right in. The last trap is cheaper than the box trap, costing less than half the materials, but it's a bit more finicky to use. You're going to want one stone fence foundation, two stone pillars, two stone double door frames, two stone ceilings, four stone railings, one stone door frame, and one reinforced door. Place the stone fence foundation down on the ground. 
Next, place two stone pillars on top of each other on the right side of the fence foundation. Place two double door frames on top of the fence foundation. Build the two ceilings away from the door frames. Now line the trap up with your railings. Finish by placing your single door frame on the side opposite of your pillars and place the door inside of it. This trap works by using the collision box of the door to shut the Procoptodon in the trap. If you think you'll need more time to shut the door, place a large bear trap at the far end of the trap. Eat the rare flower and pull the Procoptodon into the trap. Circle back around and shut the door. Whichever way you decide to use, pelt the Procoptodon with Trank ammo until it's unconscious. Put your food of choice and narcotics in its inventory and maintain its topor so it doesn't wake up until it's tamed. If this video is helpful, make sure you like and share it. Your support really helps out the channel. Now for the neat facts I promised earlier. You can learn the Procoptodon Saddle Lingram at level 23 and craft it in the smithy with hide, pelt, fiber, and metal ingots. Once they're tamed, they eat a standard herbivore diet. Their primary attack is a bite attack. Their secondary attack is a back leg kick, which has a small knockback. Their jump is a very powerful high jump. As an extension of this, they receive either highly reduced or no fall damage. Their crouch command allows them to pick up small and baby creatures and carry them in their pouch. The limit seems to be a drag weight of about 100. Their pouch acts as a passenger seat. You can use weapons while riding a Procoptodon or sitting in its pouch. The Procoptodon has a special skin called the Procoptodon Bunny Costume. It first appeared during the Excellent Adventure event and could be attained by crafting 50 bunny eggs in a cooking pot. Now it can be obtained for the Studious Explorer achievement by collecting 40% of the Explorer notes and will be in your inventory whenever you respawn. That's all I've got for today. Thank you guys so very much for watching and have yourselves a very good day.